site, a soaker. This is just north of Cedar City. Rushing water, thousands of stockpiled sandbags now. Kelly Vaughn joins us live with the struggles Iron County faced tonight and how they're gearing up for possibly even more rain tomorrow, Kelly. I know it's just some parts of Utah are begging for rain. Other parts, they are just wishing it would stop. And down south in Iron County, just as things were getting, you know, kind of back to normal after flooding earlier this week, they were hit with more flash flooding that brought more damage and more displaced Utahns. About a month ago, we thought we were going to burn up. Now we think we're going to drown. George Colson is the emergency management coordinator for Iron County. He's been extremely busy today, busy for the past week dealing with flooding. Monday dumped heavy rain, damaging homes and businesses. A state of emergency was issued for Cedar City and Iron County. Now, days later, more rain and flash flooding and damage, especially in Enoch, Utah. We had anywhere from two and a half to three feet of running water. We had several catch basins that were threatening to breach and overflow. Colson says they're pumping them out, but are concerned with more rain on the way tomorrow. Another concern is sandbags. I've got 15,000 right now in Enoch. Uh, hopefully that'll be enough. He says if they need more, they'll get them from other counties. And he says he's been talking with state resources all day to ensure they're prepared. The Red Cross was already in Iron County with a relief center for families and Southern Utah University students who were displaced in previous flooding. Now they're also helping those displaced from home damage in Enoch. They are waiting to see how much more damage we get and they may be bringing in more people. The Utah Department of Transportation cleared debris from the roadways in Iron County. The intense rain also brought debris onto roads near Zion National Park. He says people down there feel like they really can't catch a break dealing with the wildfires earlier this summer. Now, multiple days of flooding, and they're really concerned about what the coming days could bring down there. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Kelly Vaughn, 4 News.